Hi there everyone, my name is Wes Salisbury and as part of this session we're going to be getting into some of the functionality you can get out of Sage Intact when it comes to uh, reporting and dashboards. Some of the uh, it, it, dashboard, it, with dashboards in particular, dashboards allow you to easily display uh, key performance indicators and graphical representations of your data as well as your financial and operational reports. So things like a list of bills that are due to be paid by either today or before, uh, as well as your various trial balances, balance sheets, income statements, things like that. Uh, one of the other pieces that you, uh, one of the other pieces that you can accomplish, uh, one of the, uh, the key uh, pieces that you can accomplish with uh, Sage and Tax dashboards are, uh, are uh, transaction approvals. So if you have an end user who, uh, as part of their dashboard, you want a little uh, cue to say, these are all the different things you need to approve, you can add in those objects into a dashboard as well. So to get started with this, what I have here is, uh, I'm logged into Sage Intact right now, and the place where I wanna focus is the dashboards module. So within the dashboards module, I have a listing of all these different dashboards uh, grouped up into different folders or, or different groups. And these different groups would be like this analysis views group, which contains dashboards focused on particular items here, like our uh, budget position or uh, an analysis of cash or program budgets. And then down here under this role-based dashboards menu, uh, these are a bit more, these dashboards are a bit more based on uh, roles like accounts payable manager or CFO or HR manager or program manager. So you can set up as many dashboards as you want for whatever purpose you want. And you can just categorize them in these groups so that um, end users can easily be directed to where they need to go and which dashboards they need to pull up. One last thing before I show you dashboards here is if there's a dashboard that you've built for someone and you want them to uh, be looking at it frequently, you can set a dashboard, a particular dashboard, uh, as the start page for a particular user so when they log in, they can immediately see what their dashboard is. So with that, I'm going to go ahead in dashboards and click into this CFO dashboard here. So, so what we're presented with here when we open up the CFO dashboard is just an example of some of the things you can do inside of Sage Intact. So uh, up here at the top, you can see these little uh, kind of business card uh, sized, uh, sized uh, tiles up here at the top. And these are what we call performance cards in Sage Intact. And these are just a quick way to reference what my, uh, what my key metrics are for my organization. So as you can see up here at the top, we have a certain program efficiency that we're calculating, an administrative expenses percentage, and then we can get a quick uh, overview as to what our total revenue is for the year, what our total expenditures are for the year, as well as uh, some quick comparisons to either prior periods or budget. So in this case, uh, I'm, I'm dating this back to the end of 2021, in 2021, this organization had $12.4 million worth of total revenue, but then we can see here that uh, we exceeded last year's, last year's revenue by uh, 1.7 million. So it shows as a positive variance here. However, over here under total expenditures, it shows that we exceeded our expenditures versus the prior year. And we, uh, when this dashboard was set up, the dashboard builder says, okay, if total expenditures this year exceed last year, then we want to show that as a bad thing. So that's why we see the, the red arrow. So at the top there, that's where performance cards are usually kept, but I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here. So as we scroll down, you can, uh, first of all, you can drag and drop these, these, these dashboard tiles as you, as you wish and whatever works the best for you and the person and the people who are using it. But down here, in addition to performance cards, Intact also supports the usage of these little graphs that you can build. So Intact has a graph builder where 
uh, you can create a graph similar to this pie chart, which uh, it's called operating ratios. It's essentially just a percentage of what percentage of my total expenditures were related to management in general. And if I hover over this, I can see that it's 20, management in general was 21% of the total expenditures. And then I can hover over operations and see 40%. And then under fundraising, I can see 10%, so on and so forth. One thing to know about graphs inside of Intact is they, is they aren't just a view only. One of the neat things about graphs inside of Sage Intact is if I'm curious about what makes up any of these balances, I can click into any of these slices and what it will do is it will pull up a uh, kind of miniaturized profit and loss statement of sorts, uh, or in this case, an expense breakdown. So within, I clicked into the fundraising slice and then within fundraising, it's a fundraising department dimension inside of Intact, I can see all the different salaries that have been allocated during the year. I can see all the professional fees, program fees, things like that. If I'm curious, if I'm doing an analysis about what transactions have all impacted which department, I can click into any one of these numbers and get back to the originating, um, get back to a transaction level report, and then I can see all the ins and outs of all the expenses. And I could also click into uh, any one of these and pull up additional details pertaining to that transaction in particular. Finally, uh, I wanted to point out just inside of Sage Intact, you have the ability to bring in your, your financial reports into dashboards. So uh, there is a reporting module where you can go out and just kind of pick whatever, uh, whatever reports you want to run and then just choose what you want to run. However, if you want to save your end user some clicks, you can bring all of those financials that are important to them and bring them into this dashboard. So uh, right here, I'll just go over here. So over here is a revenue trend report. And this is a financial report that we've added to the dashboard. And under here, this is where we can, all these numbers represent different types of revenues or revenues, but they're allocated to different departments. So I can see here that uh, in the year to date this year, we have $3.9 million worth of revenue for the operations department. But last year, if we, since we look at the top here, this is the prior year to date, so 12 31 20, we can see that we had $1.7 million in operations revenue. And just like before, just like with graphs, I can click into any one of these links and I can see all the underlying transactions that impacted this department, as well as I can get a breakdown of the different types of revenues that uh, were received here. So in this case, you can see that there are some uh, federal, federal grant revenues that we've received, uh, but also we have some in-kind, some donated goods that we have to recognize as, uh, uh, or realize as, as revenues. So with that, so with that those, are the, those are the key functions, the, the key reporting elements that you can bring into a dashboard. One last thing I wanted to mention real quick is you can set up dashboards to uh, help end users approve things on a regular basis. And uh, you can go into, in this case, I have a program manager dashboard. And alongside all of these reports that we can build and these performance cards, we have the ability to approve. Uh, we have a queue here for approving purchasing transactions and um, you can also add in tiles to approve payments and journal entries and things like that. And then finally, finally up here at the top, we have little filters here for uh, filtering for particular dates as well as particular departments, projects, whatever dimensions you have in the system. So just to give you a real quick, over, uh, real quick example of this, for this program services statement, uh, right now, it's for the year ending 12-31-22, but if I want to look at last year, I can just enter in 12-31-2021 and hit apply. And what happens is it redraws all of my numbers. So now this uh, statement up here, 
everything is filtered for the prior year. So it'll really, dashboards inside of Intact really allow end users to pick and choose what they want to see without building separate reports. So with that, that's, that's a quick summary on what, uh, how dashboards function inside of Sage Intact, some of the neat things you can pull into them, and how they can be used by end users to explore your, uh, both your financial data as well as your operational data. I thank you for your time and we shall see you on another session.